Hey everyone, so welcome to a new Nintendo Switch collection video. The last time I did one was 2022. So, um, there's some changes to it, like I've kind of traded stuff in to get a different kind of version. And also just added some, got rid of some, so a little bit different-ish. But anyway, so let's dive in. Animal Crossing, haven't played for, I don't know how long to be honest. Um, Atelier Riser, Riser 2. I have three digitally because I've got it as a review code, but I have it physically on PS5, which I might actually just get three physically as well, because otherwise it just looks a bit weird. Um, Mysterious Trilogy for Atelier as well. Atelier Sophie 2. Uh, we've got Bayonetta 3. Haven't finished it. A lot of these haven't finished. I am terrible at finishing games. Um, yeah, Bayonetta 3. It's okay. Blue, Refle Blue Reflection Second Light, Citus Alpha, finished this, got it for $12.99 and it's the collector's edition as well that has like the soundtrack and everything in it, so a good $12.99 spent and took a few days for me to complete it, so highly recommend, especially when it's on, off on offer, I think it's on offer on the eShop at the moment as well actually, so um, as of recording this video anyway. Uh, now we've got Digimon Story and Digimon World Next Order. Again, I need to finish these. Um, I do like um, Cyber Sleuth, but just a lot of blue. Kind of prefer more vibrant stuff, so <laughs> might need to go back to it at some point. Um, Dragon Quest XI S. I am actually playing it on PS4, because that's what I got it on first, and that's I'm about 40 hours in, so I think I'm going to finish that at some point. I think I've been playing it for about over a year now, so... Um, but I decided to pick this up for my collection because I'm loving Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest Treasures. I, I'm going to say I completed it, but I got to the final boss and it was just a bit tedious. But it's not as bad as people say. I think it's a good game, especially when it's on sale. I think sometimes it goes on sale for like 15, 20 quid. So it's worth it for that. One of my favourite Switch games, Dragon Quest Monsters, The Dark Prince. I love the Monsters um, series. So um, highly recommend this check the demo out at first if you want to i think i spent like 20 hours in the demo and then about 60 70 hours in the main game as well um so addictive highly recommend this one so that's pile one done uh pile two oh, I'd get so we've got a fey farm uh i've not really touched it probably since it came out it looks really good but the thing is with cozy games i think especially like farming ones like Initially, I get into it for a good, like, four or five hours, and then I kind of just drop off. So I'm debating whether to get rid of this or not, or give it another try. So we will see. Okay. Final Fantasy X and ten two. I changed the cover because I hate that massive, like, ugly internet thing. So I decided to change it, although then it looks kind of awkward on my shelf because it's the only white spine um i should go back to that at some point i need to go back to a lot of these to be honest um just dance although it's actually a digital code um but got the case oh i just realized i didn't put that in the right order okay um harvestella another game i need to finish theme occurring here um but yeah i think it's good i think um Sometimes I get a bit kind of overwhelmed with all this like stuff going on. So I think I kind of just need to remind myself to like take my time with stuff because I feel like I need to kind of rush through it for some reason. Um, one of my favourite rhythm games, Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Um, I've got this for both PS4 and Switch. And I'm really hoping they do another one because there's a lot of music missing. They didn't do much music for three. Um, I kind of wish it was more like theatre rhythm style um so hopefully we might get something like that that would be great another one that was digital code only uh little dragons cafe it's a game monster crown um very buggy i did complete it though only about 10 hours um sometimes it goes on offer on the e-shop for like three quid so even for digitally it's not bad so um but I was just happy to get it physically because I love my monster taming games. So if I can get them physically, I will. Monster Hunter Stories 2. Um, 
So I think the collection that's coming out, I think it doesn't have one on the cart. I think it's just two on the cart and then you download one, which is really annoying because then I kind of don't get the point in releasing it. Um, but I still might pick that up. Uh, I think I got 15-ish hours in and then it started getting hard for me. So, because uh, I think it was one of those things as well where I dropped it for a long time, picked it up and kind of forgot how to play it. So maybe I just need to start again. Again, probably. Uh, I'm going to move some out of the way. We're running out of room. So this is one of the ones where, so Nexmon Collection, which has the first Nexmon and Nexmon Extinction, Extinction on one car so i did originally just have next one extinction because the original next one was originally a mobile game then was released digitally and then they released a the collection and i just wanted both on physical on the cart so i just traded in the other one to put towards this because it's not bad 22 quid for two monster taming games um with probably about over 600 monsters so um a lot of content there so I highly recommend next one one of my favorite uh, monster taming franchises i'm hoping they do like cassette beasts and coromon physically at some point i doubt it but we'll see uh nino kuni wrath of the white, white witch this is after a while i find this game gets really grindy because i'm about maybe about halfway three quarters of the way through i think about 25 hours in and it just got to the point where i felt like i just hit a wall where i was like i'm just not getting anywhere so again theme i need to complete quite a lot of these games nino kuni 2 and again another one i think i picked it up played it and then put it down so i need to pick like kind of pick up controls and stuff again so um i kind of need to be a bit better with completing games although um i've been playing a lot of ds games uh and shorter games i think that helps me complete some some like you know, this bash out a rhythm game or something that's like five ten hours then it's easier um ooblets um it comes with like a poster and some cards and stuff um i don't really like the farming bit which is how you get the ublet but yeah i, find, I don't know weirdly i find farming like really overwhelming despite it you know kind of like it's a game and you're like i'm gonna lose my crops so i tend not to do farming stuff that much so now we're on to literally just the pokemon games which is a whole section in itself so um we've got let's go pikachu and Eevee. Weird to think that these are the best looking games on the Switch, um, considering these were the first ones that came out. Um, I love it as a little casual game to play. It's very kind of like pick up and play. It's very easy. And yeah, just actually, I think quite fondly of these. Um, then we've got Sword and Shield. Controversial, but I love them. But I think because they came out at a time where I was really struggling, so they really helped me get through a tough time in my life so it's probably just a bit of kind of bias with that but on the whole I do enjoy them although I think kind of going back to them sometimes it can be a bit uh, I think I probably need to play through them again um but uh, my attention span's just shit guys I'm really sorry uh yeah Sword and Shield um Mystery Dungeon DX I actually finally completed that few weeks ago um because i've got sky pillar i think I, or sky tower i think i just needed to grind a bit um and eventually managed to get through it so finally completed it after four years uh one of my favorite pokemon spin-off games nintendo pokemon snap such a relaxing game so relaxing like so good to play in bed and if you're having a shit day it's so colorful like if it's a rainy day just stick this on take some pictures of pokemon and you're having a good time Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Legends Arc. Sorry, my kid. Legends Arc is, again, one of my top games on the Switch. I think it's my most played game on the Switch. Love this so much. Really excited for Legends ZA. Um, yeah, I, I am doing a second playthrough. I think I've got to Coronet Highlands, I think, on my second playthrough. Um, but yeah, completed the Pokedex and everything. Obviously, done Arceus and um shiny hunting on this is fun highly recommend pokemon violet with the dlc uh well part one of the dlc anyway um so i don't know it's probably like a seven out of ten for me um like i don't know i think once i was done with the main story like usually i like to go back and collect stuff and 
but even with the DLC I felt like I was just kind of it was like a chore for me to play it um yeah I think I'm just it's there um just looking forward to Legends EA move on and now we've got a last okay train I live next to a train station so um ring fit I probably should use it uh <laughs> it is fun I do like it I think um it's just that I think with gym and exercise and stuff for me anyway it's just that motivation and kind of discipline I need to give myself um snack world uh, which is made by level five so professor layton yoga I watch um it's like a dungeon crawler it's not bad I think if you can pick it up cheap it's good um like it's definitely level five I love the level five charm I think that's kind of what drew me to it because I love level five um yeah Tales of Symphonia Remastered, I think I got it for like 10 quid in game, so I was like sure, but I don't know, I've tried a few times to get into the Tales series and it's, I don't know if it's for me, um, maybe if I'm really desperate to play something I'll give this a go, but I'm tempted to trade it in to be honest. Theatre Rhythm Final Bar Line, probably one of my favourite games of last year, apart from Dragon Quest Monsters. Um, another one I put a ton of hours in the demo and into the main game. And it's made me kind of buy the other Theatre Rhythms. Um, I've got Theatre Rhythm Dragon Quest as well. And I just, because I think they they were teasing something for this year. But again, I, ho I hope we get a proper Kingdom Hearts one or finally a localization of a Dragon Quest one. That would be fun. Um, so there's no Dragon Quest on here or King, Kingdom Hearts either. Um, so yeah, it's definitely the definitive one to pick up. I definitely recommend, I highly recommend this game. Like, so bear in mind, I've never played through a Final Fantasy game or, or anything, and I still had a blast with this game. So definitely one of my top recommendations for the Switch. Temtem, I put about 20 ish hours in, but again, I think I got to a point in just got very grindy and very hard um it's okay yokai watch one in japanese um actually completed this in japanese so i think luckily with yokai watch because it's like a kid's game anyway it's got quite a lot of um these games are quite good they have like markers and stuff of where to go also you've got google translate on your phone that you can point at the screen now so it kind of helps but yeah this is actually my second most played game on the switch despite it being in japanese and i do not understand a word of it um yeah because so i think this one i've put about maybe like 80 hours in so yeah recommend it if you can get it imported um i know it's not cheap but i had a blast with it yokai watch 4 on the other hand i hope gets localized now that level 5 are coming back um i doubt it but yeah i love this game uh i haven't completed it though but um i think there's a new yokai watch ish game called ghostcraft that's sort of been announced but it's having more of an announcement next month so i'm very excited for that um it looks like maybe a spiritual successor of yokai watch or something but i'm um, very hy uh, hyped for the franchise somewhat to come back so we will see and then yokai watch jam y academy or something which is a yokai watch spin-off um very much plays if you've played them plays like yokai watch blasters on the 3ds um only just recently got this so i've only put a few hours in so um it's quite fun it's very kind of simple kind of combat but i like games like that we kind of just mindlessly play so yeah that's my physical switch collection and now i'm gonna have to pick it all up and put it back there on my table things so like a shelf thing underneath um but yeah that's just my switch collection um added to it a bit over the years uh because i think before i think i used to pretty much just strictly play pokemon or on my playstation like kingdom hearts that was it like i didn't really um venture much outside of my usual so um i'm quite glad that i have because i've um kind of discovered a lot of fantastic games a lot of really addictive games and some new franchises like dragon quest yokai watch um that i think weirdly at the time or before like seeing those sort of stuff i was like oh they kind of look okay uh, i don't think they'd be my thing and now they are definitely my thing um and same goes for rhythm games as well love rhythm games but yeah uh thanks for watching if you have been watching and i'll see you guys soon